All right, we're making the best of the weather and we're heading to go up Steeple and then on to Pillar. Why not come with me? Well, good morning, and you find me back in the Lake District. I've been had a couple of videos out on the northeast coast. We're back here, and we've got some very good fine weather whether it's ideal for photography is another question but it's very dry with very clear skies as well but we thought we'd come out and see what we can find so what we've done is we've parked near Ennerdale water which um, I think about it's probably a couple of months now I parked here and then I walked round Ennerdale water so um, I'll put the link up here about um, the video that I did about walking round Ennerdale water but today we're going to walk along to the head of the lake and then we're going to head up uphill to I think it's um, Scout Fell and then just off Scout Fell there's a little promontory which we're going to go to which is called Steeple and then from there oh well, Steeple's one of those places you can go to and then either carry on down or back on to Scout Fell which is what I'm going to do and probably then head to Pillar and then from Pillar there's a couple of choices of how to come down and then back to Ennerdale water and back to the van so that's the plan for today I haven't particularly got in mind any uh, compositions photography wise but I'm hoping that we'll find some some quite epic um, images etc and as I walk along the path now I'll maybe video it shortly so I can show you I think I can see um, steeple from here so so yeah that's the plan for today something a bit different quite a big walk and um, we're going up to I think it'll be over two and a half thousand feet so yep yeah, I'll probably be um, cream crackered by the time I get back down but yeah it should be a good day and the chances of rain are probably virtually nil problem is the skies are very clear it's a bit hazy so whether we'll get any good pictures I'm not quite sure so anyway we'll get cracking on and we'll see you a bit later right well we haven't come an awful way up height wise we've probably done maybe a couple somewhere between two and three miles and we're on our way up and we came to this bridge you see the bridge up there and looking down on the stream there's these this small cascade stroke waterfall that um, yeah it's partly aided by some fallen trees etc and I thought it made quite a nice composition so that, that's what I've taken I'm struggling as you can see my hand keeps appearing I'm trying to stop the glare onto the onto the camera there so yeah it's quite difficult so we'll stop and talk here long because the video is not brilliant because of the, the glare so yeah, it's quite a nice composition. The, the best I've taken it in at various shutter speeds from about six of a second or tenth of a second even up to half a second. Whichever's best, we'll put up on the video after this and we'll continue on up the mountain. And we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we've made it up onto the ridge and we're looking back there to Ennerdale Water. It's just about in the middle of the frame and depending on how visible it is when I've got the video on the computer I'll maybe circle it. So that's where we've come from and we've come up with we're well over 2,000 feet now and probably climbed almost 2,000 feet as well. And you can see here, if I come round, there's the camera. It's in the, the shade a bit. Um, but we've done a panorama from here. Now, if I can remember <laughs> rightly, the, the big one there in the middle of the frame, you can see that's Haycock, which is a Wainwright. And the one in front, the smaller one, I think is called Little Gouda or something like that. The names are different i'll put it up on the video and then as we come round going into the distance is scoped fell and you can just see there um the, it's a bit difficult because this pillar right behind is the one in the far background but there's a little hump just in front of it and that is steeple so you come from scope fell you go down a bit and then up onto steeple so Steeples were at least were intending, we're thinking of pillar. We'll see how we're going because um, it's taking it out of me quite a bit coming up this this way. We've only done, we've done about four miles now, but as I say, we've come up about 2,000 feet. So, yeah, if the panorama's any good, we'll put that up. Uh, and in a sense, it shows where we're going. Um, little Gouda, I think there's a path round that will go around. We'll go over Haycock. And then we'll go along the ridge towards Scope Fell and head um, so we can go to Steeple. And then we'll play it from there. So, yeah, sorry I haven't been videoing much on, on the way up, but um, it was pretty much the same all the way up. And I bumped into somebody and we were talking as we went up. But they now, I think they're headed back down because they went to the fell if we turn round. Um, the one there, and I can't remember its name, I'll put it up on the, the video, and that is a Wainwright that they were doing, and then they were going back down the path that is over that way, back down to the lake. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's glorious weather for walking, whether it's ideal for photography, I'm not quite sure, we'll see how we get on. As I said, we'll put the panorama up, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, 
Well, we've just come the other side of Little Gouda Crag, which you can see there. And we've just stopped, I must admit, it's a nice little mound down here. I just had a, a quick rest. I'm struggling a bit with this today, but we'll carry on. And you can see across there, particularly if we zoom in, you can see the um, little scout fell and then steeple the one the little bulge just to the left of that and i just thought um it made quite a good image showing where we're going and i thought it looked quite good with the the light on it and that so i have taken captured an image of that with the long lens the 70 to 200 on and then i've also taken where well, the camera's still set at the moment see the cameras there there it is. Zoom back out. You can see I've got one of Little Growler Crag because there's lots of texture and lots of boulders and that, so it should look quite good. I think we'll, we'll we'll find out when we get it on the computer at home. But so we're taking those two. Um, hopefully they'll both be reasonable. We'll put them up on the video and then we'll head on up Haycock, which is this one here and then across heading towards steeple i think pillar may get missed out but we'll we'll see how things go um with having i don't know how long i laid down possibly half an hour maybe i don't know um but we'll carry on and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well, we made it to the top of Haycock. I um, can't remember how high it is, I'll put that up on the video. Um, but you can see Ennerdale water down there, which is where we're parked and where we've come up from. And if we turn round, it's quite a rocky um, summit. As we come round, I don't know how well you'll see it, but there, where it's very bright, that's just Sellafield, the nuclear site, and if we come round, and I can't remember what some of these fells are called, but as we come round, or we look into Wasdale and Westwater, but as we come further round, and maybe if I zoom in, I can't see very well on the. Um, that, I believe, is Scarfell Pike and Scarfell, the highest mountain in England. So that's quite impressive. And, and just coming round slightly, we can, I don't know whether you can see there's a bit of a town and I think the peak above that is Red Peak, Wasdale Head, because if we come round a bit further, we can see Little Scout Fell and Steeple, but if we come round that way, we've got a range, and there is a Red Pike Buttermere on that range as well. So, yeah, it's getting a little bit hazy, it's cooling down a little bit, which is nice. So, we're going to head onwards to Steeple and we'll reassess when we get there. So, I can't see any images to be had from here. So as I say, we'll carry on and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, I was just going to point out as we walk along here, when I was doing the Wainwrights, uh, I ended up coming in the opposite direction to Haycock as we're going at the moment. And I believe I did camp out somewhere, and I would just at guesswork, it might have been somewhere around here because it was getting dark and needed to, to pitch camp. So it could have been somewhere around here, I believe. I have to check my records, but I believe it was before I got to Haycock, and then the next morning I did Haycock and uh, a further one before dropping back down to Annadale, uh, back to the van to then come home. So, yeah, so that's that. Just to point that out to you as we walk along. Right, we finally made it to the top of a steeple. We've climbed a steeple, or come down to it, should we say, in a sense. Um, now, just looking in the direction we've come from, um, you can see there um, is little Gow Gowder and a Haycock. And as we come round here, we can see there that's Stoat Fell, Little Stoat Fell and Great Stoat Fell. And I don't know how well you can see, if we come down a bit, it'll, yeah, that's the path that comes down and up to here. And as I said, we had planned, and we're not going to do, um, to go to Pillar. Now that is Pillar there. It's, it's still quite a way to get there um, we're less than two hours from sunset so and I think we've taken a bit off more than I could chew I mean we've done what bless, over six miles so far so it's going to be possibly not quite as much to get back but it's going to be well over 10 miles so if we look around here we get to the lake and we're parked by the lake down there so as you can see it's quite a way so partly we're feeling a bit tired and partly we've run out of of time but i have taken some handheld pictures here of um, pillar with the cloud uh, shadows of the clouds going over it's a bit difficult because one composition i chose you could see my shadow in which didn't help so yeah we've taken some of pillar so we can say we've come and seen it um and taken some images of, of the path how well they come out because there's a high dynamic range there with the sky and then the uh, yeah the, the the crags and the path which are almost in the shade so if we just come along here I've never been on this path. I have been to Steeple, but it was when I was doing the Wainwrights, and from here I went back up and then to Haycock, so I was going back the way we've come. But there is a path literally going straight down there. You can see bits of it. Um, I'm not totally sure exactly where it goes, but I'm sure we'll find it. We'll get down there, we'll get back to the van, and we'll head home. 
Uh, the sun is starting to, if we get any, as we're going down, if we get any stunning looking images, we'll stop and, and capture those if the sun dips and, and puts colour on some of these mountains. So yeah, yep, yeah, I've probably waffled enough there. We'll put some of the handheld images up and we'll ha see you a little bit later. Right, I'm actually now back at home and doing the conclusion to this video. The reason for this is that the path down was, as you'll probably see or have seen from some of the B-roll, was very rocky, very, well not particularly steep, but, but clambering over boulders and going down, so it was slow going and it was a lot longer than I maybe thought. And as I got further down, it got quite dark. And in fact, towards the end, it was very dark, which is very disconcerting on a, a path that I would struggle maybe slightly with in the daylight to be coming down with just a head torch, etc. And I must admit, it probably didn't, but it seemed to me to go on and on. <laughs> And on. So by the time I actually got back to the van, it was pitch black. So I'm at home now and doing, um, concluding the video. I think it was a very good day. Um, I just took a bit off more than I could chew, really. Um, the stats I've picked up, um, having downloaded off the GPS, was that it was about 10.4 miles that I walked. The highest point we reached, according to the computer, was 2,753 feet, and that I ascended 2,821 feet. Um, I thought the GPS was saying nearer 3,000 feet as I was climbing, um, but yeah, that's what it says. So it was quite a big day. Um, and I didn't actually achieve what I set out to achieve, which was to go up steeple, although I did take a slightly longer route, which was maybe um, not the best thing to do, and to then go on to pillar. But as you could see it from steeple, pillar was still quite a long way, and if I'd gone to pillar, I would have, it would have probably been dark, or getting dark by the time I actually got there. So... Yeah, but it was a good day. The weather wasn't ideal for photography. I, 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 having seen some of the images, the clear blue skies don't help. But I've, I have a feeling I've got one or two good images, which you'll have seen by now, so you can make up your own mind about that. But it was good to get up into the high fells. I'd, I did spend some time speaking to somebody as we were going up, and they were surprised that there wasn't that many other people going up. But the Lake District can, can be like that. You go to certain areas and it can be very crowded. Particular popular spots like Scarfell Pike, the highest one, or Catbell's a local one that's very popular. But go up some of the others and you don't see so many people. And it was quite nice on the top, um, strolling along when there was virtually nobody there. And yeah, I'll have to, I need to get more practice. I think I was struggling a bit with tiredness. Um, as I maybe mentioned in the video, at one point there was a bit of a mound and I did have a, a bit of a rest and sort of lay down whether I actually fell asleep or not. <laughs> I 
I'm not quite sure, but when I looked at the GPS, although I did take some images there, I was stopped an hour at that spot. So that wouldn't have helped with the time, etc. But yeah, oh, the ladies, just being out on the fells is um, pretty good. And having looked at the records of when I was last in that area, the point where I did say that I thought I camped according to the GPS records from that was more or less correct. I had remembered correctly. It was just down from the top of Haycock. So yeah, we'll have to go in that area again sometime, but uh, where the next video will be from, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to, to wait and see on that. Uh, it is now, although <laughs> I say at home, it's actually now Saturday. I went out yesterday and I'm trying to get this video up for tomorrow. So yeah, we'll stop rambling there and say we'll see you on the next video.